everybody. Well, I've started getting together what I'm bringing on my camping trip. I am going on vacation and um, we're camping. So we're going up north about three, four hours, I think. We're going to Minnesota's oldest state park at the headwaters of the Mississippi called Itasca State Park. And I always bring on a vacation where we're traveling in the car, I bring my um, journaling stuff. Well, I bring it on regular weekend campings too, but I don't bring as much. I bring a whole lot more <laughs> for an occasion like this. So here's the first container I'm gonna show you that I'm gonna fill up with my tools and things like that. Um, I think I got this at Michael's and it just uh, fastens here and the lid comes off and there's a tray and then it's nice and deep so I probably have like four inches um, of space that I can use almost four inches which is really nice so I'm gonna see what I can fit um, I got these stamps I'm taking, so I'm taking my, uh, some of my leaf stamps and some of my distress inks for the pages, and then I've got these inks for actually stamping in my camping, my vacation journal. I was going to say camping journal. <laughs> um, I have a small bottle of Mod Podge in case I need it and a bottle of white glue, and a bottle of baby powder. Then, um, I don't think I made room in here for this. I was going to plan this better. I've decided to bring my Xyron sticker maker because I think I can um, use that. And I also have um, an extra, like a refill. So I'm just making sure this goes down all the way with what I'm doing which means I need to arrange a little differently and put these guys right here. And then maybe I'll put the Mod Podge here while I try to figure out exactly what I can and cannot do. So maybe this has to go up here. It's all a little like puzzle, like I have to see how I can fit my things in. can't do that because it ends up pushing this crooked. So let's put something small down there. I have my Zot thing that can go there. Um, I have this glitter glue stuff. I want to see where I can put that. Okay, that seems to be okay. I don't feel like that's really going to work though. Hmm, see I can't put everything in one thing and actually I'm going to put this in a different spot. I have a place in my zipper bag. I can put that instead and I think I'll do that because I really would like to have room for this stuff without having to worry about how it's sitting. So I will put this little bottle here and I will put the glue there. Then I'm going to just put my, whoops, oops, scissors. I'm trying to figure out what I want in here and what I want in here. Because I think all my pens will go in this pen case. So just my normal writing pens. So I'm taking a ton. These are all my gel pens, my Ink Joy, and my tool tool pins and I think they will all go in here separately then I don't have to worry about them otherwise I'm going to put these in here these are for doing markings on watercolor and then I have my white um, signal gel pen I have a couple of Le Pans size 0 0.5 and 0.8 these are like a felt tip, and I have a medium, and I could have, I knew I had a small, which means I must have dumped it in here, 
leave, I'm sure. Yep, here's my small tip. And then a Sharpie in case I need it. And then um, I have a little space up here, so I'm going to put in some clips in there. And I'll put a couple of clips here, and I'll put my tweezers there. Here's a pencil. Um, I think I can put, um, actually, I'll put this white out here and my, what do you call this? <laughs> this is my um, tape, tape runner, my adhesive runner, actually. And then I think I can put him there. That's just for doing the distress inks. And I've got a couple glue pens. I'll put those in here. And I have these are for the Mod Podge and for the glitter. So I'll just um, set those this way. Um, under here, I'm gonna put my uh, refill for my tape runner. And I guess I can put the Xyron in here because this isn't gonna fill up. Here's a three hole punch. <laughs> And if I need it, I've got a um, little utility knife here. And then I think I can put my scissors there and my little scissor here, like this, or I can just put it in here with these. Okay, and that little scissor said no. <laughs> okay, there we go, perfect. So all those tools fit in here, and it really works perfect. And then here is my pencil case, pen case. So I'm going to move that, because I'll show you how I pack my bag, my actual bag, later. I want to show you what else I have. Okay, so I have this um, from... Um, that Create 365, the Happy Planner. This is their bag for supplies. So let me show you what I have. I guess we'll start like this. So in here, I just have the magazine of the area where we're going, and that is all I have in here. And any other um, brochures I get while we're on the trip, I'll stuff in here, maps for cutting out from. I did put in some magazines that I want to cut from. If I have time, I'm just going to sit and cut cut stuff out. And I put in my watercolor pad in here because I plan to do watercoloring. So that's that side. And that just um, zips up. And it's really not very full. So maybe I will put in my little every quote book because I thought I could totally... Um, use it. Yeah, I'm going to leave that up. Anyway, so much for that. <laughs> so let me zip that up to start. Then you come here, and this is all my stickers. Well, most of my stickers. You never know how many stickers you're going to need, so I do. I did put a lot in, but I will show you what I've got so you can see how I did this to make it fit nicely. The first thing I have though in here, let's take, there's a lot in here, there really is a lot, is I have my, um, I'm gonna take this paper out. I have um, Tim Holtz words and phrases here, and hmm, hmm, that must have come off of here. These are recollections and they're kind of cheap, but these are some more word stickers and some more from Tim Holtz. Um, so I have those in the back. Then I have um, some things. I have this, this camping paper from a flow book that a friend gave me. So I thought this would be perfect. And also this uh, vellum and a black piece of paper that somebody gave me. And I thought this might be nice um, to use in, this would have actually been nice in my journal, um, to use if I want to do that. 
Um, and I have some cutouts from magazines that I might be able to use, so I thought I would at least um, get them and bring them along if I want to use them. Breakfast, you know, camping, birds, anything I thought I might possibly use on a camping trip. So I just picked out different things. and this bunny, and this. So that's all of that. I think what I'll do is just tuck this in here. And I'm gonna actually slip that behind and put this one right here behind as well. Okay, so then I got all my camping stickers and I cut them in half so that they would be much easier um, to handle so and some of these of course I've already used this is a trip trip one that's a camping one again which I really liked I got some really good ones at Hobby Lobby for camping they had much better ones than Michael's there's another one here's another camping here's fishing because we're in a state park we can fish for free my husband has um, he has a fishing license but we can fish for free in the state park. So that kind of makes me super happy because I do like to fish, but I didn't want to pay. Here's more camping and outdoor stickers. Um, here are some plastic bags I'm just going to take from stickers that I cut in half because sometimes that's a good way to preserve something you find. Here are some like picnic and hiking and miscellaneous type stickers. Here are some bird and flower and butterfly stickers. And these are little girl stickers that have some things that I think will be useful. So we'll do that. Um, over here I've got um, stencils, just a couple stencils I might use. And some Tim Holtz die cuts, which I think I'm gonna put in this other section. I think that's probably better. And then in here I have small ephemera from magazines and other things. I just got a whole bunch of ephemera, small stuff that fits in here to take with me. Um, in this side I have two pouches. This one has a couple of bags and tags and journaling cards and some twine. And this one has my owl stickers because I'm still doing the owl thing, so I need to bring some with me. And I almost forgot. So that zips. This zips. Set the baby all up and it's ready to pack. It makes packing so much easier, you guys. Okay. Then I have my washi to try and decide which washi. Now I do want quite a bit of this and I thought of just taking this rather than this this time. I have this one where I've slipped, you can slip washi in to take. Um, and it's pretty much almost the same size. So in this case, I think I'm just going to go ahead and use this and take out the ones I'm not gonna use and then just slip in the ones I want to use. Cause like these two are totally for journaling. So I'll take them out and I'll keep one of these. I don't need two. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and keep all of these and all of these. Cause there's not that many that I'm adding. I have my camping ones. A lot of these are outdoors already. Um, I'm gonna slip out the ones I know I will not be using so there's no point having them in there and then I'll just slip in some that I might like to use so I'm gonna go maybe um, I want to get some of these type of colors like this and this one and this one, and I want some greens. I like the greens. So I'll stick those in. There's just some colors that I want to use. So I'm just gonna go ahead and 
put them in. Um, maybe the rest of these sherbet colors would be good in here as well. Maybe like this. And then I'll slip this here. And then maybe one other. Let me see what I got. Um, hmm. I didn't put anything skinny in here, did I? I don't have a lot of really skinny, so it is kind of hard. But I could put that one in. That's skinny. And I feel like I could, should put one more thing in. Maybe this. Oh, and these flowers, of course. Okay, so there's all my washi. So I got my washi that I'm going to take on the trip. All right, and I'll just straighten all that up when I come back. So now, um, I want to show, I'll bring over something to show you. Okay, this is my watercolor box. It's a two layer box. So I have in the bottom layer, I have a palette, I have brushes, I have water brushes, I have some pieces of watercolor paper, a sponge, and some sea salt if I want to do something different. And then here I've got my Jane Davenport um, and some napkins and my uh, Winston Newton and then my new Koi um, that I have not used, but I've had this for like two months. So as you can imagine, I'm super excited about um, using this. So this will be my first time. And a, a rag. And that's what I bring besides a spray bottle for water. I have an empty spray bottle that will be for water. Okay. Now let's see what else. Um, let me see what else I want to show you. Okay, this is, these are the Traveler's Notebooks I'm bringing. Sorry that this is really hard to see, but I'll try and maybe go like this so you can see the sections, because there's two rows. I have an organizer in here. So this is my, um, this one is just uh, my craft planning, and I haven't had time to plan, so I pulled it out so I could. This one has B6, and it's just journaling creative journaling because I don't know what I'm going to get to do so I just bring a lot. This is a B6 with two watercolor inserts and this is a B6 with several inserts. Mostly two of these I just write in. One is more of a creative. And then this little owl journal that a friend gave me. And then I've got my turn it around the other way. I have my camping nature um, I have these two inserts because I haven't decided which one I'm going to use for my vacation, the B6 or these two standard that are together. I have my nature junk journal that I made and the last slot is going to hold my daily creative journal and that will go right there and all the journals will be able to come. And yes, it's a lot of journals, I know. <laughs> And I don't apologize for it. So, um, and then I have a book bag here, and I've just got a mindfulness book, uh, the Joy of Creativity book, and then uh, a wildflower type of book. They're all kind of the same style. A book to read, and a book about journaling on keeping a journal. So that's that. <clears throat> I think I'll show you how I'm going to pack my bag. Um, the other things I bring, I bring this to cut out of. I have four of these, but they're wildlife, plants, bugs, everything. And so I bring that. I'm also going to bring the birds of Minnesota and the mammals, and I cut out of these as well, plus that little quote one I told you about. 
And then let me bring you over. So I'll try and do this slow. Bring you over to my pile of things I have to fit yet. So I have my Instax camera. I have my blow dryer because of the water coloring, my water bottle, the Xyron, and those books. And then the things I told you about right here that I just showed you. This is my carry case. And this has two side flaps and then it has this whole big area. So I'm gonna try and hold this while I fit things in. So let's put in the watercolor case to begin. And then on top of that, I'm going to put um, my case for doing my watercolor. So now I'm trying to figure out how things will fit. So I'm going to take my washi and I'm going to slip it here. It's just the right height. So I can turn that like that and that gives me extra space. I just put this whole thing in my... Um, I just put it right smack in my trailer on the bench and it's easily accessible. So there's that pouch fits right there. Now you can see what I've got left for space. So I'm going to come over here and there's a lot of room on top yet. So that's really nice. So I'm just going to slip that book there and I'm going to slip these two books here for now. I still have so much space. It's so nice. Um, I'm going to put my blow dryer, I think. I think I'll put this in here. Uh, I probably should just tip it like this, right? Okay. Then in the side pockets, um, this side pocket, I'm going to stick my... Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm going to put my sticker maker up here. I don't feel like it was very safe in that pocket. Um, and then I've got my water bottle. And that can actually go in that pocket. I've got my pencil case that can sit right here. Yeah, I think I'm going to put the water bottle up here too. I mean, there's no reason not to. I've got the space, so I might as well do it. And then I probably won't put anything in the side pockets at all, which is okay. So let me zip those up. Let's show you what I'm doing here. Okay, and then I have my film. And actually, my film and my camera are not going in this bag. I, will, I have a bag for all that other that sort of stuff. I, I wouldn't put it in here. So as you see, it flips down like this. And then I just have to... There's two side zippers. So, sorry, I hope that wasn't too loud because I did that. Anyway, I'm just showing you how it zips down. There, just like this. Just like that. And it's ready to go. And it's great, you guys. It's just a great size. And it's perfect for taking on a trip. Um has a nice handle. So that's for all my journaling stuff, plus my TNs, which are right there. And I don't count the book bag as journaling because that's reading. And this bag is for my Bible and my spiritual TNs and my devotional stuff that always goes with me no matter what. So yeah, I, I think actually that turned out pretty good. <laughs> and I'm ready for my trip. Thank you for watching. Bye.